What's up, fruitful investors? We're standing in front of our next flip we just closed on today. And it looks like we have a ton of exterior work to do. Yes, more than what we normally do. Yeah. It is what it is. We're actually not quite sure on this property whether we're gonna do a full flip or a super quick flip and sell like a whole tail. We're gonna figure it out right now. Let's go in and yeah. check it out. So as we said, we're not quite sure whether to do a full flip like we normally do. We have so many jobs on the go right now that this one's just kind of like getting in the way. And yeah, so we're deciding what to do. So if we did go the full flip route, yeah. it would be tearing up these floors, which you guys probably see on camera. Doesn't look too bad. In person, it's a little different. That's kind of how it always is. Probably looks okay on camera. And the person there a little wild. Yeah, yeah. But definitely like, but they could pass for a hotel. For so, sure, yeah. That's the thing. Can we just leave this house as is, just sell it, clean it, Maybe just paint it even, I'm not sure. Or do we do a full on flip? Numbers are really tight on this one too for a full on flip right now. Yeah. Obviously what's going on right now, I'm not gonna say it. it's the C word, right? Uh, it's changing the market a little bit. Not so much in our area, but another just added layer of ours. Yeah. So it's like, do we do the full flip and make a little teeny profit or do we just sell it as is, still make a small profit but we didn't do anything for it, so, right? Mm -hmm. Bedroom here is the master, obviously, but that's your giant, Huge bedroom. Yeah, good size. So it would be taking the floor out. Yeah, um, and that, yeah, this carpet's gotta go. Yeah, for sure. Carpet's it's gross. It's stained, it's awful. Yeah. So you got one bedroom here, this is the master. Uh, the second bedroom here is the average kid size, same thing with the shag carpet going on, so. Yep, gotta go. Take that out. Yeah, if we're doing a full flip. Yeah, full flip for sure. Yeah. You definitely have to, well, yeah. even just like a, if you want just to clean it up, you have to get yeah. that carpet. Yeah, bathroom here, I'll take a swoop in here. So this is pretty much like a total gutter. If we did it like the way we normally do it, on camera it probably looks like okay. So again, I don't I, even think. Yeah, I know it's not. <laughs> I'm not even gonna pretend. So yeah, redo it all if we were gonna do it all. But right? we're gonna take out. There's like a closet that bumps True. in. We're gonna take that closet out yeah, and make it, bigger. make it much bigger. Yeah. And I think that would make the layout a lot For sure. better. So we'll go into the bedroom here. Or bedroom, the kitchen. Uh, kitchen would be a total gutter. Um, I don't know what happened. The seller started to do the kitchen and then stopped. So this was an off-market deal, by the way. So the seller wanted to sell it immediately. Really quick. So we helped them out. It was actually a very interesting situation. So we totally helped them out. Uh, and now we're left with this. So we're deciding what to do. This, yeah. if we did do the flip, would we'll put a wall back here. Uh, this is originally a three-bedroom house. Put a door. This would be the third bedroom. The seller had plans to do like a dining room kitchen because there's no dedicated dining room to this house, which kind of sucks with the layout. And now the reason why we possibly don't want to flip it, mm -hmm. just a weird layout. So yeah, so we're gonna revert it back to a bedroom. And then unfortunately, that means there is no dining room space yeah, no dining in this room. house because if this was shut, basically, yeah, it's just hallway, living room. It's just like, hallway. Um, yeah, there just wouldn't be much to do in yeah. terms of a, a dining room. Yeah, so go to the basement, check that out. All right, so here we got the laundry room. Nothing special. It's a green laundry room. Just paint it, clean it up. Um, here new we floors. got, yeah, new floors are coming out. This carpet's coming out. This is like a plus one down here. Is there a light? Okay, so we got light, so we would just clean it up. Leave it the same. Just a nice little plus one. Yeah. Here, there's no light, I don't think. Oh, look at that. We put a wall here, put a door, and this would be the plus two. So it'd be a three up, two down. So this is also a perfect house for a duplex conversion. Not that we're gonna duplex it, the area is perfect for that. Rachel's found some garbage. I just was curious <laughs> to see what it's So uh, this would be the perfect duplex conversion. So if we do decide to sell it, we might actually sell it to one of my clients and let them do a duplex conversion because it's perfect for that. What's this? That's plumbing. Was there a kitchen down here? Was he trying to do a duplex conversion? It looks like laundry hookups actually. I don't know. It's, a, it's a mess, man. This bathroom here is a gong show. Yes, but bathroom is messed. But I, yeah, can we get in here? So the layout is awful. So we would just gut this right out, do a better layout for sure, rework some plumbing, uh, redo that. Yeah, like why would you have done it this layout? Like why would you put the tub up against that wall, yeah. the vanity, the toilet? Like I don't know. It's a weird, weird layout. Very here strange. we got this wall here, which is non-load bearing. We discovered so we would take this out right to here. Just kind of open the, the hallway up to the rec room, or if it was a duplex conversion, just be the kitchen living room kind of yeah. thing. So you can make the windows bigger for egress. And then this, we would take this wall down as well, also not low bearing, and just continue the rec room 
into there and I don't have a light here. I don't think it's, is that a light switch for this? Sweet. Yeah. So yeah, we just continue the back room into there. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. And so, yeah. then if this was a potential duplex conversion, this would be a great location for the kitchen. Yes. Into the living room. For sure, yeah. Awesome and open layout. Honestly, the basement is a really good size. Yeah. The Oh, ceiling heights maybe not. A little low, a little low. It's a bit low. This is probably about six, seven, six, eight finished. So that's normal actually. Well, like, Tyler, how tall are you? Yeah. Six, that's five, how are you? Six five. So yeah, yeah six seven, six eight. Yeah. Yeah. So we're right about in there. spots, and then in spots it's like yeah. it's a little weird feeling out here, but definitely good for a duplex conversion or just like a hangout basement, right? So that's the house. We go to the garage, check that mess out, oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then we'll end down the front. Let's go. Yeah. All right. So this is the garage. That's just a gong show. I don't even know what to say about this garage. Yeah, the floors are like this. Feels like you're drunk walking around here. So very yeah. weird. This wasn't a real garage. It was a carport. Someone like finished. So this is just the driveway, which has been like heaving all throughout time. Yeah, so, throughout time. We're just going to get this all, clean it up. This window is broken. Boom. So yeah, which you didn't break. I did not break that. No. It wasn't me. <laughs> so yeah, man, that's the house. What do you, what do you think? Full flip or quick hotel? I think given how many jobs we have on the go right now, yeah. Maybe something quick would be ideal. Nice. Um, yeah. I don't know if I want to get into like a full flip on this one. Yeah. Just because I think that it would be better suited to like a duplex or a rental or, or like outside. a long term hold type deal as yeah, opposed this, to like a quick flip. This neighborhood's like amazing for rental properties, yeah. especially for a duplex conversion, it would be amazing. Great location for that. So it's good for that. But um, that's not something we want to get into right now because yeah. we have so much on going on. So yeah. that's what happened, guys. When you build a business and you buy a lot of houses, not every single house is a home run, right? Some of them you just got to get rid of. It's a single base here and we're out of here. Well, yeah, because we're, we're buying these houses like months before yeah. we actually close and then other we'll houses, other houses close, yeah. and, and so it just happened to be like, there's just a yeah. funnel effect right now. I think right just... now we have like five jobs on the go right now, five yeah. flips. It's like, all right, can't add like a sixth one. It's just madness. So we might just hotel this, get a nice little single base here, get out of here. That's the business, guys. Yeah. So if you like this video, smash that like button. Also hit that subscribe button so we can see more of each other in the future. See you soon. See ya.